I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We just do All that whole shit you doing just reflect you. I see your hoe and she going, she reflect you. She walk around and... Let me, let me, let me, let me get right into this, man. I, 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 I'm gonna do this. I'm, I, I, I said I wasn't. I said I wasn't, but I was. You know what I'm saying? Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Slow, slow, slow. Let's just, let's just slowly go in. So Ace I mean versus Fonz drops. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I peeped the battle when it happened, and um, I watched it again. They got apps for that. Um, Killing anybody in my path, and they say you in the way of me going to LA, nigga. That's a fact. If he the one that's guarding them, fucking, I'ma point it at his hat. This nigga whack. Uh, uh, this is gonna be one of those things where no, I don't. I'm not writing down no notes. I ain't got no quotes. I ain't got none of that. So if that's what you're looking for, this is the wrong recap because. So how how, how I wanna go about this, right? You have Ace I mean coming into this battle, who kind of like. Uh, got to the to this part. He was literally a battle away from the, the from no. He was literally a battle away from no. So he comes into this card, and you know a lot of some people felt like he should have made it. Some people felt like he should have made it. But whatever the case may be, he appears. He gets there versus Fonz, and Fonz had been one of those guys who was smoking sh all through the tournament. And I, I kind of want to throw this to Fonz and throw this to Jay the Nightwing as, as when I, you know, I'm gonna keep this thing going. Um, this battle right here, it, it, it wasn't it wasn't really that good. I mean, stumbling all over the place. Ace I mean with the bumps. Bump you. I don't have to bump you. But for that shit you did the easy, I had to give him bumps. Hey. Then I do it again because his bitch ass ain't do nothing when I did it once. Nigga, what? You know, he, he bumped him once. They bumped him twice because he ain't do shit the first time I did it. I get it. But quit it. Ooh. That's done. But um, it was just too, too, the battle was too sloppy. You got guys that are battling for, a lot of them are battling for more money than they've seen in their lives. $25,000 is a lot of money. And, um, you know, Ace I mean, clearly his mind was somewhere else after whatever happened outside, you know. And um, now you have him in the battle. And I'm going to be honest with you, in his first round, even though there was a lot of breaks, a lot of sloppy, choppy, choppy moments, uh, his material at times was right on par. And then you have Fonz, whose first round, his material was cool, but I hate Ace I mean, went in the first round. And this is the shit that I'm talking about, Fonz. It's not even about Ace no more, you know what I'm saying? Like, it really ain't, because Ace, you know, he, he the battle was given to you, because obviously with the whole fight situation, but I'm gonna be honest, if Ace I mean didn't have the whole situation where they broke up the fight and all of that, Fonz, you might, you, you, they might have got you out of here. I'm not going to lie. Like, that third round, Ace I mean, he had some big-ass moments in the third. Still choppy, choppy, and the third was where, I think it was the third where Fonz had choked or whatever the case may be. But what I'm saying is this, and I get it. I said it before, and I'll say it again. I feel like Fonz was thrown off of his game by Ace I mean doing the extra tough guy shit with the bumping and all that other stuff, and then it was like the, 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 the the crap. This nigga to fuck with me, give him a buck fifty. JC paint low so back. Come on with the bullshit, bruh. Come on with the hand, bullshit. I put Come my hand on the bullshit, grandma, nigga. Uh. Fence next month. Why Malone wants to lower himself to that is anyone's guess. And Rodman apparently wants to start the wrestling now. I tell you what, I love what I'm seeing. The battle between these two guys. They're fighting, giving it everything. Like he, you know, he, he grappled him. Like when the when 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 Fonz was rapping, he did like a. Uh, 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 something like he did like a move like this and the Ace I mean kind of like grappled him up like Dennis Rodman and shit versus Karl Malone then one got pushed the other got pushed and then it, it had to break it up and all of that but um, overall the win wound up going to Fonz but what I will say is Fonz you still have a week left I need you to jump in a $25,000 bag 
this bag that you jumped in right, even without the extra shit. Them raps, bro, like they wasn't 25,000, my nigga. You gotta go smoke something. You have to go kill something. Go back and watch your tapes versus Jay Kruger. Like, watch your footage versus um, J400 block. Watch your foot, watch those footage. You need to jump back in that bag because you're battling against Jada Nightwing next. Now, while Jada Nightwing was not spectacular in some of his rounds versus Rube Bando, he still has the ability to be, if you're bringing that, and, it's, and you got like a round, like a first round where you're not going crazy out the gate, and then you got another round, which is just, you're not gonna beat him. You're not gonna beat him. This is, this, this, is what you, this is what you practice for. This is what the 25 bands is for. You need to jump back in the bag. You gotta get kind of crazy. Like I ain't gonna hold you. You got You gotta get kind of crazy. Uh, the I know Ace Amin had bumped you. I know y'all had like a Dennis Rodman grapple match and all of that. But I mean, you have to jump in a bag. Like you have to clear out or everything that got you there. You have to clear out all of that and focus on the opponent that's in front of you. Um, while. The battle was ugly. That well, I thought I literally said earlier I was talking to um, Showtime SP. I was like, this battle could have got vaulted. Like it could have got vaulted. It didn't even have to come out. Honestly, there are battles that people are still waiting for, like uh, New Jersey Twerk versus Swamp, uh, New Jersey Twerk versus Danny Myers. Um, people are waiting for uh, Rum Nitty versus Cortez. There's mad battles that people are waiting for. Casey J versus uh, Coffee Brown. So this comes out, and I get it. If y'all, the same way all the other battles came out from like the week before, put them shits up. Put every, go, keep on going, keep on going, keep them coming out. We're not, we're not about to, we're not moving the goalposts when the score don't work. The, the goalposts cannot be moved. Um, I seen people talking earlier about the Ace I mean battle, and they were saying, you know, they don't like him, he's not talented, whatever the case may be. I definitely think that he has some talent, but he has to stop stumbling stuttering choking in battles like that's the thing you're not gonna beat anybody at this level with choking stumbling and stuttering like it's just not it will not happen because you have so many guys that are talented that are spending weeks and weeks and months and months preparing material and if you get up there and you don't have your material down pat i think in ace's first round he started stumbling like 30 seconds into the round. Like it was, it was about, it was about 30, about eight to 10 bars into the first round. He starts stumbling, and at this level, you're just not gonna beat anybody. And um, I spoke to him earlier this week, and he enlightened me on what was going on as far as with uh, you know, some of the things with him and things like that. And you know, um, I don't really want to. I'm not gonna divulge everything, but you know, he needs to focus on. And that's the thing I said. He needs to focus on his craft. And he needs to, if he's gonna do this, a lot of the outside distractions, like the shit that's on the outside, that, 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 that's too much. Because when you're here on the highest level of battle rap, you're on the highest level, you're on the biggest stage, all of the outside shit has, hey, you, you gotta put that to a rest. I mean, it's cool to have some of the shit that comes with it, the attention, the clout, the followers and all of that. But if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna perform, and bring three rounds and really jump in a bag that's gonna make niggas say, yo, we wanna see him on this card, on that card, on this card, and, and really vouch for you, then you might wanna, you could do this, you can get a camera, you can talk this shit, you can fucking start a channel, whatever the case may be, and not be in the game, not actually rap, but you can't take up real, like, Kid Chaos, real sick, easy to block captain. There's a lot of guys who, if they was in that position to battle, Fonz to get a chance to go battle for 25 bands would have got kind of crazy. I'm just saying they would have <laughs> they would have jumped in some they would have got they would have got wild with it. So while that opportunity is gone, um and the future is still here. Battle rap span, people have a short memory, like, you know, people could choke in battles, stumble in battles, whatever the case may be, and then get by it. But you can't keep doing it over and over and over and over. Cause after a while. You see what's going on with, oh boy, niggas is they on that nigga brake lights right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jersey, they, they, niggas ain't playing. But back to uh, Jaden Nightwing and Fonz, um, they, if they both bring three rounds and they both 
are 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 really on somebody's got to have an electric performance though it can't be a debatable like you niggas cannot have a debatable battle as to oh we don't know this person might have got the first or this person might have got the, you need to smoke some shit uh a la t-top in fucking uff a la ill will in uff like niggas was, they were sending niggas home there was no debates in what was going on y'all one of y'all need to jump in that kind of bag y'all need to smoke something especially for 25 grand i'm not talking about no choking no stuttering, no stumbling, no up, 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 uh, 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 no none of that. Because to be honest with Jaden Nightwing, Rubando was a third round away from sending you home. If Rubando would have got his third round out, he I would be talking about Rubando versus Fonz right now. I wouldn't. We he his second round he clearly took, and um, the third Jays was real light. Rubando was literally reading the alphabet backwards from making it to the championship and if he would have made it with them rounds that Fonz had I don't know I, I don't know I, I just don't know it's like he was wild in his first joint uh his second one it came down a little bit and the third one I'll be honest with you like he got the win but Ace had bigger his when his, when his shit did land when he wasn't sloppy ploppy all over the place when his shit did land his shit was landing hard, you know what I'm saying? That that got him to the by God, by God. Like they said some shit about uh, Ace said some shit about uh, last time you fucked up in Cleveland. LeBron left or some shit. Like he was wilding, is what I'm saying. So you gonna run into somebody who's gonna have three, four rounds, and if you come with a half-ass round or you take your foot off the gas, you gonna be out of 25 grand. Um, the battle scale of one to ten, maybe a four. I'll be honest with you. And that's just me being honest. Like it's just, it's about a four. Now I understand where Fonz got rattled because he got bumped, then he got bumped again, then he got Dennis Rodman grabbed and shit like that. Or he grabbed the nigga and he said he was gonna burn you and they had to break it up. I get it. You know, but let's remove all of that. The material that did get out when you was spitting, ah, it wasn't really that crazy. I'm just being honest. And then now I fuck with you, I fuck with Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of love and respect for y'all, but you you didn't really get that crazy in this one. And I get all of the other shit that's involved, but we need you to get easy to block Captain third round crazy. We need you to get Jay Kruger crazy. I really would love to see you get J400 block crazy. This is the, uh, if you want me to be honest with you. So you got your work cut out for you. Get to it. You dig? I'm out. Let these hoes turn you to frowns, bitch, we been up All these guns coming out, get your man tough I know these hoes